Hey guys, so here's just an overview of everything we got the kids for Christmas this year. I'm pretty much done shopping. So that's exciting. It's about a week to Christmas. It feels good to finally be done. I only just started shopping. It took me three full days. So I wanted to go ahead and film my gift guide video to kind of share everything that we decided to get our kids this year and to also give you guys some ideas. So if you haven't watched my videos before or any of my gift guides, my kids are a little bit older. Um, it's not the norm to see older kid gift guides on YouTube. A lot of the what I got my kids for Christmas, birthdays, Easter, those kinds of videos are for younger kids. My kids are 9, 14, 15, and I have an adult son that lives at home, full-time college student, that I also include in these gift guide videos because I'm just going to keep buying for him until probably forever. So I wanted to go ahead and show you guys everything that we got. This is not a budget video. I've done budget-friendly gift guide videos in the past where I've only spent a hundred dollars on each kid but that was when my kids were younger and it was a little bit easier to shop for them now that they're older a lot of the things that they like are on the more expensive side I don't have to go overboard for my kids because they don't really ask for a lot nor do they need a lot but I'm a giver and so I do like to shop for them for every single special occasion however i don't feel like i went overboard this year at all and i don't feel like i go overboard anymore for christmas because that's not the point right they'll appreciate whatever they get i do get a list for my kids so i try to get as many of the items on their list as i possibly can and then of course i also fill their stockings so i'm going to share everything that we purchased for our kids for this christmas so let's jump in. I have a couple of things coming from Amazon. So I will go ahead and insert like an image of what those items are when I get to that kid. So I'm going to start off right here with my nine-year-old son. His list was pretty short this year. And so he wasn't really asking for a ton of stuff. So I was really able to go ahead and just have a little bit of free reign on some items. But yeah, I think I pretty much got everything that he had on his list this year. So this was his list that he wrote himself. He wanted the headset, Legos, Nintendo Switch, which um, my oldest son has a Nintendo Switch that he's wanting to sell so I have agreed to buy the Nintendo Switch from him but he's going to sell it to me once he gets a PlayStation 5. He's been waiting to get one. They've been out of stock so I'm not going to get him this because I'm buying it from my oldest son so eventually he'll have that but not for Christmas. More Legos, Spider-Man headphones but we got him the headphones that he actually really wants so that was his list. He had mentioned wanting some more kinetic sand. I think I got him kinetic sand in his, either his stocking or his Easter basket a couple of years ago. And it was like a really small container. So I went ahead and got him this kinetic sand set. It says create and reveal designs. I think he's going to love this because, I mean, at nine years old, he still likes to play with toys and things like this. And I know it's something that he asked for. So I went ahead and got him that. He also wanted some more Legos, specifically Spider-Man. So I got him this Spider-Man No Way Home Lego set. And I liked this one because um, it's obviously a little bit different than any of the other Lego sets he's gotten. And it comes with Spider-Man and Vulture. I got him a Spider-Man protection set this is like a helmet set and it comes with knee pads i actually got this to go with his big main gift which i'll um, insert a video clip of that at the end of showing you what i've gotten him for christmas he wanted a red watch and he's been asking for this for 
a while so I went ahead and got him this Casio red watch glows in the dark it's water resistant so that's perfect for him we went ahead and got him some new gaming headphones all the kids needed like new ones so he asked for spider-man ones however my husband wanted to get him some like really good quality headphones so that they won't break as easily so we went ahead and got him this and my husband actually has something like this and he mentioned wanting the same thing so um got him some headphones and then got him this harry potter lego set another lego set that he mentioned that he wanted because we love Harry Potter, so I went ahead and got him this one. He doesn't have this set. This is the Hogwarts Polyjuice Potion Mistake, and it has an anniversary Harry Potter in here, so I wanted to definitely get him this. It also has Harry Potter, Hermione, and Ron, all the main characters, so he's going to love that. And then from Amazon, we got him this VR set. So he said he wanted that. Like, that's like the main thing that he's been asking for for this year. So we went ahead and got him a pretty affordable one just to try out because obviously the Oculus is like super expensive. And we just wanted him to go ahead and try one out to see how it works and how he likes it before we invest in something like the Oculus. So that's what he's getting. And then he's also getting this. All right, so his last gift, and this is like his big gift, you guys, because this was really, really pricey. It was actually on sale, so I did save a good bit of money on this, but this this was over $300. Um, I got him a hoverboard. Now, he didn't ask for a hoverboard this Christmas, but he's been asking for hoverboards for the last two to three years. And it was just something that I wasn't ready to, one, give him because you need to have balance. And he's only nine right now. So two or three years ago, he wouldn't have been ready. And two, it's a lot of money to spend on just one Christmas gift for a nine-year-old or at least at the time when he was asking, he was younger than that. But I needed some extra gifts for him to open under the tree because he didn't actually ask for a ton this year. His Christmas list was really short and he was the one kid that I really needed to buy a couple of other things for. And so I thought this would be the good time, the perfect time to give him a hoverboard. It'll get him outside. Plus, like, it's not just a gift that he can use, like, the whole family can use this. So I'm super excited for him to open this on Christmas. I know he's going to freak out. He's going to be so excited that he got this for Christmas. So that is his gift from us. Again, a hoverboard. And I'm in my in-law's spare bedroom because I obviously don't want him to see this gift before Christmas. So that's everything he's getting for Christmas. I try to make sure that everybody gets an even amount of gifts to open under the tree on Christmas morning. So I might have to like wrap similar items together as one gift just so I make sure that it's even and everybody gets the same amount of gifts to open on Christmas morning because I have four kids and I would hate for one kid to feel like they got gypped because they didn't get as many gifts as another kid. So anyway, moving on to my daughter. This is her list this year. Yeah, it's a long one. But I asked her to put a star next to the items that she wanted absolute most for Christmas and so I tried to focus on those items first to make sure that I got those for her so that she has the items that she wanted the most to open up on Christmas morning. She is 15. She was very specific with her gifts as per usual but this year she included like visuals okay like photos so <laughs> I tried to follow the photos as best as I could. And again, like I said, a lot of these things are going to be wrapped like together if they're like similar items, just to kind of group them together so that I'm wrapping the same amount of gifts. And I think I'm wrapping about, I think I'm wrapping like, yeah, eight gifts per kid this year. So just to put that out there. Okay. So she wanted some new Converse 
So my husband got her these. I wanted to get her black ones, but they didn't have black ones. She already has like the blue ones, but I think these are super cute. So I think she'll like that. So Converse. And then my daughter is a really good artist. Like that's one of her hobbies is art. And so she wanted some new canvases. So I got her um, some canvases to wrap for under the tree in different sizes. She's very artistic. So she does a lot of painting and just arts and crafts. She's recently gotten into crocheting. She plays music. She's in a guitar class. She has a piano. Like, yeah, she's super, super like artistic. So I know this is a gift that she pretty much asks for every single year because obviously if she's painting, she's going to need things of this nature. Her big main gift this year is a brand new cell phone. This is the Galaxy AO3 Core. Um, it came out last year, like it's only a year old, and it was a really good price. Um, both my kids go to like both my middle kids go to private school and one of the requirements is a phone for them because they are very technology based and so they use that a lot in their curriculum. So they needed new phones anyway for the new year which starts in February. And so better phones, faster, more storage. So we got her that. She asked for some silky pajamas. I got her this pajama set at the department store. I'm hoping this was the kind that she was talking about. I'm hoping. But I got her these. And then based off of the photos that she sent me for the type of clothing that she wanted, um, we bought a lot of the clothing items and stuff for the kids at the mall. And so I went to... A store in the mall and I picked up this baseball style tee. I don't think she's going to be a fan of the graphics on the front but this is the style of tee that she was um, asking for and then she wanted these like cargo style wide leg pants so I got her um, the dark jean one and then over here, she had put in one of the photos, like, beanies. So I got her one of those. I got her some socks because um, white socks is a part of her school uniform. And I was going to throw this in her stocking. But depending on how many gifts I end up wrapping for her, this could be a stocking stuffer gift. Or it could be like wrapped with a bunch of these other little things because these are also kind of like stocking stuff, I guess. But I like to keep things even. So we'll see if this gets wrapped as a tree gift or stocking stuffer. I can wrap these together. These are just some like newer paint brushes. Again, like I mentioned, she's an artist. So she's constantly in need of things like this. And then one of these like paint palette things that she uses to separate her paint while she paints and then she put um like a tank top so i got her this uh from forever 21 and then another wide leg cargo style uh pants in like the army style green i have the receipt for everything like clothing wise just in case she can always go back like all of them any type of clothing item they can always go back and exchange it for something else because I always have to be on the safe side when it comes to my teenagers because you just never know we also got her a Canon power shot from Amazon so I'm actually in my in-laws house in their spare bedroom I'm hiding like the bigger gifts in here because obviously I don't want the kids to see what they're getting for Christmas. But this is the art easel that I got for my daughter. She's been asking for something like this for a few.
few years now. She's a huge artist, loves to paint, and she paints every single day. And so she paints on the floor, which is not very good for her back. So I know she's going to really, really appreciate having something like this. And it was a really good price. So I went ahead and got that for her. All right, let's just stay over here and go over the stuff for my 14-year-old son. Um, one of his big things were comic books. He's gotten super into comic books the last year or so and has kind of become obsessed. Like that's what he spends most of his money on are comics. So I picked up a couple more for him. Um, I'm going to wrap all these together as one gift. And then I went to Forever 21 and they were having a sale. Um, this wasn't on sale, but it was a really good price. It was cheaper than like Old Navy and the Gap. So I went ahead and got him this black and white hoodie because that's another thing that was on his list. He wanted hoodies. So got him that. And then got him these skinny jeans from Forever 21. He wants jeans in black. That's like his thing. No blue jeans. And then from American Eagle, my husband picked him out this like black regular tee, just plain black, some more black jeans, and another, another hoodie, except this one like has the American Eagle writing on it. So he has that. He loves the color red. Like he, I feel like he's been gravitating a lot towards red and black and white. So I think he'll like that. But again, I have the receipts just in case. And I'm talking low because I'm in my room and my kids are home and I really don't want them to hear what I'm saying. So I hope you guys can hear me. Um, Legos again all my boys are obsessed with Legos so I got him this Batman one I got him this one he actually wanted to buy this uh, the other day and didn't have enough money so I went ahead and picked that up for him for Christmas the Marvel Eternals and then he also needs new gaming headphones so we got him that when well, my husband picked that out um he's a teenager now you know getting into girls and whatnot wants to smell nice so i picked him up this guest perfume well not perfume cologne i think he's gonna really like that and then like i mentioned He's also in the same private school as my daughter, and this is one of the requirements for them for their curriculum is some type of device, either a cell phone or a tablet or a laptop. And so this is his big gift this year. They both needed new cell phones, to be honest with you. Their cell phones are super old and slow and running out of space. And then for him... From Amazon, we have these Jordans coming for him for Christmas. So that's everything for my 14-year-old son. And then last but definitely not least is my 22-year-old son. He's an adult. He did not ask for anything for Christmas this year. The only two things he really asked for, because I've been pressuring him to give me a list, and they're like digital codes. So he asked for money for his PlayStation wallet, and he asked for he asked for us to renew his PlayStation Plus membership. And that's become like a tradition. We get that for him every single year so he can renew his membership, and the membership is for one year. So those are the th two things that he really wanted. Those are the only two things he asked for. And then I kind of took liberty and got him other things because I definitely wanted him to have gifts to open under the tree. My mindset is, even though he's an adult and he's 22, he's a full-time college student. He lives at home. He doesn't work a full-time job because school is his job at this moment. And he's still my baby. He's still my kid. So I'm going to include him in the gift giving tradition that I hold so dear for all my kids. 
because I just don't think it's fair that just because he's an adult, he shouldn't get any presents. You know what I mean? So I mentioned those two things from Amazon. And then he also got this um, from Walmart. All right, here I am again, spare bedroom in my in-laws house. And this is just a huge box. You can't even really tell what's in here. So I could possibly keep this in the house, but you know, this is their spare bedroom. Nobody comes in here. So this is the red and black gaming chair that I got for my adult son. I'll try to find a similar one and uh, post a picture of it right here. And it was around a little less than $200, but I know he's going to really like this. So this is his other gift that he's getting from us for Christmas. And then besides that, I got him all of these. I saw this at the department store. Um, he goes to college for digital animation. He is super artistic. He's very talented, much like my daughter. And so I saw this and thought he might like it. It's like a case filled with a bunch of these art pencils and little supplies. So I picked that up for him, just like a random gift for him to open. And then he loves this comic. We actually watched the first season. Um, me, him, and my daughter, we watched this. Um, they have a TV show. I think he said the second season's coming out next year. I know he's going to be so happy that I got him this. And I got him all three. It's like a set of three. So I got him all three of them. The Invincible comic. If you haven't checked this out and your kids are into stuff like this, I highly recommend. It was really, really good. I'm assuming the comic is probably even better. He's obsessed with Legos. You're never too old for Legos. Um, we watched The Mandalorian together. Really, really good show. Highly recommend. He's a super fan. So I got him the Star Wars Lego. And this is the Armorer's Mandalorian Forge. And I got it because it comes with the Mandalorian. So that's exciting. So I know he's going to be excited about that. And like I mentioned, we're huge fans of Harry Potter. And so he mentioned wanting Harry Potter Legos. So I went ahead and got him the Hogwarts Courtyard Serious Rescue. And this comes with Sirius Black, Harry, and Hermione. So I know he's going to like that. And then just a random little thing I bought <laughs> at the comic book collector's store that I know my boys love. It's like this PlayStation t-shirt. Now it is an extra large, but I saved the receipt and the lady said that he can come back and exchange it for something else, either a smaller size or a different shirt because they only had the one size in this particular shirt or he can just get something else. And then he's been asking for a backpack. He's been needing a backpack for the longest time. So I just went ahead and got him this Under Armour backpack for Christmas. I know that's kind of an odd Christmas gift for a 22 year old, but I know he's gonna appreciate it and it's something that he needs. So I went ahead and got him that. And I got the Under Armour brand because I liked the look of this one better than the Adidas or the Nike. So that's everything we got our kids for Christmas this year. I don't know how much I spent, but I know I spent a lot. <laughs> so especially since I shopped last minute this year, it was a lot of money to spend in a short amount of time. Like I said, I took three days to get everything and this is everything. I'm super happy with everything that I got and I know my kids are gonna be so excited. And I know I'm in my bedroom and it's not very festive, but I have lights. I have lights in my room to try to make it a little Christmassy. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you got some ideas. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye, guys.